Uh, uh, uh. Hi everyone, this is Francisco, and <clears throat> I was just looking at my hair right now, and it reminds me of um, Einstein. Um, anyways. Okay, so my video title, I wrote down electricity generator and custom shower curtain or win window curtain ideas. But I should have really wrote hook ideas. Hook ideas, um, mainly, um, well, these have the rings. You see that? They have the rings up there. So <clears throat> it's not really for those. However, they could still be added to these um similarly with the shower curtains um and <clears throat> they do sell some hooks that go over the pole and into um, little cut area in like on the curtain itself. And I think it might be either stitched or it might be plastic, but either way it has like some type of incision all the way through one end to the other. Um, and anyways, the hook goes in that. And I was thinking, since you guys have 3D printers and you guys are looking for ways to make money or whatever, um, like I like I always am. Uh, so I thought of like customizing these custom hooks with like the Riverside Bell. Um, or like you guys can put LA, you know, and sell that like a box of, I think they sell like 20 for like $10. So if you guys can get some, some metal hooks, uh, very affordable, or you guys can buy them in bulk and then you guys can add the, you know, like the LA um, or anything that people are into, football, metal hooks, uh, something that won't get rusted uh, over time and that will ultimately last a long time. And so when people go over your home, um, they will be able to see that, right? <clears throat> so let me see if I can show you guys. See these little things here? These are the ones I'm talking about. And they could either be pointing out or in, but this is where basically the little logo will go. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's 12 of them in total. And then there's like another one right here. Right. 
So that's what I'm talking about. Bethel Church. But you know, right in California. Um, so anyways, so yeah, so that was one idea, right? And you guys can do whatever you guys want there. Uh, you guys can <clears throat> create like some vine stuff like this for like, if you guys are into winery, <clears throat> look at this. See like this vine stuff, little grapes. Um, whatever you guys are into, right? Um, it, it could be animals, little monkeys, dogs, dog puppy paws, cat paws. Um, it could be seasonal stuff as well. Santa Claus stuff. Um... Halloween stuff, you know, just, um, and it could be either be made out of plastic, like, um, recycled material. So like you guys can use it, you know, seasonally, or it could be something that is created for more like long-term, um, but I think it's a simple idea, and I think a lot of people, you know, will, would, um, will and would be, like, interested in this type of stuff. Um, uh, what else? Hmm. I don't know what else you guys can think of to add there for the shower curtains. <clears throat> you know, the hooks. Um, but I think I pretty much covered that. I mean, you guys can do like leaves, seasonal leaves, like fall and stuff like that. Fall leaves, um, fall leaves, what else, um, sports, I already said that, anything that has to do with sports, <gasps> You know, fruits, vegetables, animals. Um, you know, some, <clears throat> it could be like some, <clears throat> like natural crystals, uh, natural formations. Or like ice cubes, uh, the icicles uh, that hang when things get frozen, the ice picks, stuff like that. I don't know. It could be anything you guys want. Um, but anyways, I'm going to wrap that up and start talking about the electricity generator um, idea. All right. So I just wanted to dedicate a few minutes for the curtain thing. If I do come up with more ideas regarding that, I will either share them in this video or just create a, a whole different video altogether. Or write it in the description. 
But anyways, let me talk about the electricity generator. So the electricity generator is an idea that I thought of. And I've, and I've actually, uh, okay, so I designed something in my mind. I can see something that will work. But the way that it will work um, is mechanically will be with a, with hydraulics, uh, sp springs, um, some type of like restrictor, um, to prevent certain moving parts from um, breaking the cycle of the movement of this and and <clears throat> of this generator, but we are also going to be utilizing the law of of um Jesus not Jesus but the law of um what is that leverage yeah leverage um so I already released a few videos regarding this in the past. Um, and this one is uh, pretty much similar, <clears throat> but it's mainly focusing on spinning and a uh, electrical engine but in this case it will be spinning to generate electricity although it could be uh, used and created to power an electrical um, r rotary engine um, and I actually have <clears throat> I actually have some here hold on right in here there's some right here uh but i'm talking about this you know like um like windmill type of engines This is another one here. Um, so technically, okay, <clears throat> I'm telling you guys, with the idea that I have, uh, regarding this in particular, uh, it's going to be like the law of um, leverage. I think that's how you say it. Let me look it up real quick. Because there's no rush in this at all. Let 
law of leverage images yeah this is it um so <clears throat> right here the law of leverage it says millionaire x whatever that means so it even describes it like it, it breaks it down um it says work less input there's a lever pivot point the pivot point there's there's the fulcrum there's the outcome earn more rewards um so technically we can type in the law of leverage and look it up on wikipedia Uh, the free encyclopedia. Uh, <clears throat> so it'll break it down. Leverage. So it'll break it down more like professionally. Um, right. So if you guys are lever leverage um leverage the law of leverage i'm not really getting anything regarding that mm, the law of leverage definition No, there is no, there's nothing regarding that. Not even leverage itself. Okay, it says right here in negotiation. Leverage is the power that one side of a negotiation has to influence the other side to move closer to their negotiating position. So this is more like it. But it, they don't show any images. Um, wait. No, wait. Leverage negotiation. I don't think. No, this is wrong. That's a different type of. Leverage. Anyways. Um, well, anyways, it's just called the law of leverage. And you guys can look it up yourselves. Instead of, <clears throat> you know, me trying to um, describe it to all of you. <clears throat> so... Okay, so technically the way that it will work is um, it will have a long point. Um, the, the short end where the,
what is that thing called again? Um, hydraulics? Um, yeah, I think it's called a hydraulics. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Hold on. Let me look that up. Yeah, the hydraulics um, will be on the short end. And technically, all it would do, like, think about, like, small, on a small scale. And the short end will be over here. The hydraulics will push it up. Once it reaches a certain point, it will, up here, it will have uh, something like a clamp that will force this machine downwards. Um, when the hydraulic is... At its high point, it will it will drop, it will lose pressure, and it will permit this um, There is no name for it. I was going to call it like a like a like an axle, but it doesn't actually spin. Um, let's just call it the arm, okay? So it will go like that. It will get pushed down with the springs. Um, it will act like a clamp, so it'll f forcefully push, and this will all be made out of metal, and it will be humongous, um, like 20 feet by, you know, like like at least 20 feet long, um, just for this section of the engine, of the generator engine. And the arm will be much longer. I don't know how how much longer. Um, maybe like 40 feet, 50 feet. Um, the hydraulic system will be um, all the way on the on the opposite end of this and <clears throat> there will obviously be um some type of pin that will keep this thing the the arm from moving around um, or like detaching or moving at a place, right? So it'll hold it, it'll, it'll keep it fixed in a fixed position at all times. This will be a fixed type of generator. 
but it could be um, tr transportable, and we can make it a uh, we can make these on a smaller scale. And the great thing about this is that it will actually require less electricity by the laws of of um, of leverage. And we all know that hydraulics, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of energy, can have a bigger impact um, so I could assume that you guys know how to, a hydraulic works or I can assume that you guys don't um I would prefer to say that you guys don't know for a longer version and to ex to explain my point a little bit further. Um, But it's uh, it all comes back down to math, and you know that's how we generate electricity to begin with, right? Um, especially when it comes to having a much greater yield in electricity. So you have a positive output and a much greater, lesser, a much lesser input. To to power this device, this electrical generator or uh, electrical engine however you want it to operate for you. Um, but technically, I seen in my mind the hydraulic moving the arm. And I mean, it only has to move it a little bit. Once it moves it a little bit, over here is going to swing out. You know, it's going to swing out and cause this thing to spin. Um, the I don't know this shape, um, but it's like a loop, like a circular loop. Um, it will guide, it'll act like a guide, and it'll also act like a, a form to keep this arm in place at all times without it, you know, <clears throat> without it, like, um, like coming off or without it malfunctioning, okay? And all this will be uh, done um, obviously with computers. So it'll be a perfect flawless machine. Um, so it'll go all the way to the end. The springs will cause it to go down and it will go to the other side 
Um, so I haven't figured out how it will go to the other side unless there's a spring there of some sort or or something or unless we use the law of gravity, which then the engine would have to be placed um, instead of it being horizontally, it would have to be placed vertically so that the, the hydraulic the the hydraulic will push down which will cause the arm to go up and and then the springs will force it to go to the right it'll loop back around and be ready for the for the hydraulic to push down again the hydraulic it will loop back around the hydraulic will push down and it will just keep doing that over and over and over and we you and i we could try to move this engine but we won't be able to it'll be like attempting to push a bus um a hundred feet 400 feet 500 feet in in a few seconds and we won't be able to. It would probably call. It would probably take us like more. Like um, a minute, or longer than a minute, for sure. But <clears throat> with the hydraulic system, it will keep this engine or generator spinning at all times. Um, and it's with the law of leverage, obviously hydraulics and gravity. So there's a lot of laws here at work. And then, um, and then I pictured... like three of these uh, hydraulic systems, but I picture them, I think it was on a horizontal um, like diagram. And I, I seen, you know, obviously the round, the circle um, uh, electrical, engine or electrical generator either way it could be programmed um to either um work as an engine or to work as a generator um and i seen three hydraulics moving this engine and it'll basically like be penetrating it like this uh like the gear like the gears um the gear disc And I have some gears as well, but it's basically like a table saw blade with a, like the sharp teeth at the very end. And when it spins around, it cuts a, a um, carves a little bit of wood at a time so that section that carves the wood out will be the the section where the 
hydraulic system will like with the arm it'll push it and it'll cause it to spin and it will do this um maybe on the same on the same gear um the same gear disc or it will have different levels of gears which will primarily uh, be utilized like it'll be used the energy will be used to direct to be directed to the electrical engine at all times. Um, so that's a that's another way that this can work. Um, so I'm assuming that it would require less electricity. to power an engine or to generate electricity. Um, because we're using different laws, you know, like the law of the hydraulic system and the law of average and stuff like that and then the law of gravity um so there's there's a lot of factors here to consider um but it's a, it's a straightforward design um and it won't even require a huge investment if a huge investment up front, like the water dams, you know, these water dams everywhere, all over the world with Nikola Tesla, you know, um, with like Niagara Falls and wherever else they decided or they, they thought of creating dams. That's a huge project. A lot of money goes into these generators to to generate electricity, um, and a lot of people would argue that it's not they're not good for the environment because for for many reasons, um, especially like when fresh water fish when they when it's like um mating season or whatever some of these fish they 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 travel upstream to do their thing um and reproduce the reproduction the of 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 these animals, um, fish, and, you know, a lot of people argue now that we have dams is preventing these animals uh, to, is, is preventing them from, from doing this. And a lot of people argue like that it, it could, um, change our future because now they can't do that and stuff like that so you know because without the dam it's just um you know a steady streams of waterfalls um or it could be one massive waterfall so if that's the case and you know people really can't say anything too much about it um, but that's really besides the point. 
um, but, um, you know, you guys are also, you people are, are also focusing on like renewable energy. You guys are, you guys are focusing on like, uh, when, when powered or generating uh, of power, um, generating power through the wind. Um, you guys are focusing on solar panels, the sun's rays, um, It's more, it's more like thermo heating, um, electrical or electricity generating, uh, generating electricity through the means of heat. Which, you know, that's when you guys um, focus on solar panels and all that. Um, so with this idea, um, so like imagine a toy that will not power your electrical engine, but it will power the hydraulic system, which will be pushing on the arm to cause the electrical engine to move and especially if a lot of rotations per minute is not really required then technically low voltage devices like LEDs and stuff like that like little lights I have some LEDs up there all right so those are those are little LEDs up there um and I think they just require like one volt of electricity and there there's a lot of videos on YouTube where people use acid they create their own cells with like um something acidic like a lemon or an orange and they use different two types of uh, metals And they they can actually power an LED light. Um, so that's the potential. I'm just highlighting the potential of of this um, implementation to an electrical engine. Now, if you guys want to generate electricity, for whatever reason, then you guys would have to scale either down or up, depend depending on 
your electricity requirement um Your connection is unstable. Please wait while we try reconnecting. I don't know what's up with this internet. Um, it says that the internet is weak on my, on my um my settings here. Um, and then it's right here on YouTube is saying your connection is unstable. Please wait while we try. We try reconnecting um but um <clears throat> 